What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about intuitive machines. I want to go over some of the current data points, what is really moving it, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, it is down 3.17%, slightly recovering from its lows of $7.65, 5.8 million shares being traded, 25.4 is the average. Majority of the volume that is happening today is linked to shorting as well as algorithmic trading. So you're not seeing that much from institutions today. So only one transaction on the secondary market above $100,000. Same goes for yesterday. 90% of all the transactions being done are regrettably sells. So kind of just like light switch. And I think a lot of that stems from Powell. But like light switch, just bearishness across the board. So not necessarily the best. And in Lunar's case, it is somewhat a good hybrid stock, so it's a good momentum play as well as a squeeze play. And for a momentum stock, you need a lot of optimism. And as a byproduct of that, then a lot of entities kind of shuffle money towards you. Nothing from the company itself for today, so it's kind of just piggybacking off of the broader market. But there's a couple of things that is really affecting it today, one of which is just the whole dispute and a lot of uh, stuff coming out from the Middle East, so not necessarily the best. As far as data points, you did have manufacturing data coming in at 47.3 versus a forecast of 47. So it is below 50, so it shows more of a contraction within the broader market. Then at the same time, you had job openings data, so 8.04 million versus 7.64 million, the forecast. So a little bit more jobs available. So it kind of goes to show that people generally just don't want to work. That's kind of the underlying sentiment. And plus, that's exactly what Powell did mention yesterday that just the whole labor market is more important to focus on that right now than even GDP. So it goes to show exactly how detrimental uh, the labor market is right now. And plus, on Friday, you have the unemployment rate as well. Forecast is currently 4.2. So all of that is really affecting the stock price. And then you have shorts just kind of just doing whatever they typically do. So at the time of doing this video, they are increasing 842,000 shares. They were increasing a little bit more, I think closer to the 1.5 million. So that does mean that they have returned some shares. So that's kind of adding some support, if that kind of makes sense. So right now, like I said, 842,000 shares are being increased. 21.1% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 12.05 million shares. Cost of borrow average is 16.59, utilization 65.68, and then short score. So the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening is sitting at 74.95. So yeah, all in all, I think we would have anticipated shorts just to kind of increase their position given the amount of fear in the broader market. But like I said, I think some entities in the algos are starting to kind of switch gears to buy and really add some support levels. So again, I think that's kind of a good thing. As far as options, 1.24 million in calls, 202,000 in puts. So dollar value wise, a lot of money is really gravitating towards Lunar's uh, options, not necessarily the common stock today, but 53% of all the options being done today are bearish. And of the call options that are being purchased, you'd see a consensus for it to be roughly around that 850 ish, 8 to 850. And then looking at puts, you see a consensus for it to be sub roughly around 750. So despite everything, uh, like, and the sentiment not necessarily being the best, there is a little bit more upside anticipated based on the down. So that's how I interpret the data. Um, although my last video on Lunar, I did state that based on the technicals and a lot of the data points coming out, we're kind of pointing to higher highs and like a breakout for Lunar to occur. Regrettably, a lot of crap has happened in the last 48 hours or I guess just 24 hours in general to really switch everything and the dynamic up. And as a byproduct of what Powell said, the data points that came out yesterday and today, the likelihood of a 50 basis point cut for the November 7th meeting has gone down to now 36.3%. And in my opinion, Last week, the market was pricing in a 50 basis point cut for the November 7th. So over and above everything that I mentioned, I think that this is also kind of quietly, a lot of people aren't really talking about this, but I think that it was priced in. So now with a strong likelihood of a 25, it's kind of hitting a lot of growth stocks. So once again, uh, Lunar is really getting hit quite hard because of that. But 
overall, looking at the open interest on the calls, you see a lot of optimism uh, kind of all over the place with this upcoming week. So October the 4th expiry date, if it is able to get above that, let's say 8 to 850, then this is where you'll see somewhat market makers being a little bit active uh, as they do have to cover a lot of these options. So currently there's 5,000 at that $8 strike price, 6,000 at the 8 to 50. Still um, not anything really crazy to write home about back in the day, like uh, couple of months ago, I guess, every chain uh, or every strike was in excess of 10,000. So I think it definitely does play a very big part in it propelling and going higher. But there's just, like I said, a lot of crap at play in the broader market. And so it's just kind of being put on the back burner for the most part. But right now with it at $7.70, it is trading between this pivot and this R1. So $9.50 is going to be the next strong kind of resistance slash target. And then $7.54 is going to be that next strong support. Neither of these were touched. And of course, uh, Lunar has gone up quite a lot. So this is why the FIB levels are very wide. So just anticipate a continuation of volatility. But on the actual chart, last couple of days has been more so consolidation. So as long as it stays above that like 759 range, then things are still somewhat good, right? Because technically, as long as stocks are having higher highs and higher lows, then yeah, the trend is still up there. But there is a pretty wide gap that uh, is kind of a lot of focal points to that. So once again, the age old thing about gaps have to be filled. I don't believe that, but uh, still a lot of individuals, if they believe it, it will come to fruition. So this one might cause a pullback to run that 627. So next couple of trading days are going to be absolutely key for their technicals. So again, if it does break below that 760, then just anticipate a further breakdown to kind of the low sixes, high fives, which in my opinion is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. On the stochastic, you do see a bearish deviation starting to form today. So red line above the white, but it is at 63. So somewhat neutral territory, so not really overbought nor oversold. A number of retail investors are getting out today. So like I said, algos and shorts are kind of making up the majority of the volume. Institutions as well as retail are not buying the dip, if that kind of makes sense. So yeah, I think right now, this is one of those stocks that you do need to really add to your watch list with the data that is coming out for the remainder part of the week. So you have a lot of consumer data. So tomorrow you have employment, Friday you have payroll, as well as the unemployment rate. And then on Thursday, initial jobless claims. So all over the place, a lot of data points could cause a lot of continuation of fear. So all in all, I feel like there is going to be more of a technical breakdown with Lunar as well as just the broader market. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. Let me know, are you guys buying right now? Are you guys selling? What is your overall thoughts, for instance, on Lunar? And what do you think the next big, big catalyst is truly going to be? One final thing, make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it. They give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. And this promo has been extended past September the 30th. So definitely take advantage of this while you can. Link to this is in the description below and also the comments. With all that, appreciate all of you guys watching.